Here we go. Somebody let me wash this motherfucker. Top Gov! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your governor speaking. Today's. Wait, 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 wait. Text fighter to five one two three four five. <laughs> I'm going to text fucker and see what happens. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Anyway. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your governor speaking. Today's training evolution, dog fighting, taking on the corporate media. Oh, oh, morning, oh. Well, you see, it went away. It went away on me there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me send a new message. Five dash... One, two, three, four, five. How original. Five dash one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I'm going to text fucker. <laughs> I'm assuming it'll do the same thing as well. But just for fun. Gentlemen, this is your governor speaking. Today's training evolution, dog fighting, taking on the corporate media. The rules of engagement are as follows. Number one, don't fire unless fired upon. But when they fire, you fire back with overwhelming force. Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking, I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill. Number two, never ever back down from a fight. If I could complete the question though. So you're going to give a speech or ask a question? Number three, don't accept their narrative. I've, I've not gotten, any, the text went through, I've not gotten an email back, but also it might recognize that it's a Google number because I, I texted from the show number. So it might recognize it and not accept it. Like, it, like a lot of places don't accept my Google number. Narrative. It's wrong. It's a fake narrative. I just disabused you of the narrative and you don't care about the facts. It's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narratives. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's turn up on Oh, that crooked smile. Oh my God. I hope he's getting mocked for that. I hope he's rightfully being mocked for that. Unfortunately, I know that there's a lot of cringe going on on the Newsmax talking about the DeSantis ad. <laughs> and he did release it. We're still on election coverage. We have, we have the election graphics up because he released this in time for the election. Seriously, everything's being slow tonight. Taking on the corporate media. The rules of engagement are as You ain't follows. taking on Number shit. One, don't fire unless fired upon, but when His they kid fire, is in all of his ads. Remember like he did that really creepy ad where he's like reading to his kid. I'm asking you to talking tell me about like uh, how he was like the Never Trumpiest of them all. Back down from Mandy, a good evening. Welcome. So you're gonna give a speech or ask a question? Number three. Don't accept their narrative. It's wrong. It's a fake narrative. <laughs> All right, top gov indeed. Uh, the whoever whoever did that ad, it's a brilliant, brilliant political ad. Tony. Wow. Okay, somebody just subbed. I'm sorry, I, I, I missed it. I was too busy gawking at Newsmax giving a handy to Ron DeSantis. Warlord, thank you for the resub. That's uh, More news indeed. Uh, Stand a chance, really, against no. defeating dissent. No, okay. No, no. <laughs> We're watching two people run for who gets to be the biggest sacrificial lamb. This it's is them. this is an incredible race to watch, to see two uh, people. And with Chris, at least, there's the story. He was governor, but he was a Republican at the time, and now he, he he's a Democrat or whatever it is he feels he needs to morph into to try and stay relevant in, in the political scene. Uh, to it is going to be closer than what they realize. The last race, DeSantis barely won his last race. It was extremely close.
And that was an extremely cringe ad. To watch them walk themselves into this disaster, into a guaranteed loss based on uh, the, the- I don't think it's so much a guaranteed loss. Florida, never mind in the rest uh, of the country. The ads are very good. And there's something very telling about those ads. Those ads are about concrete- Yeah, there's, some, there's something very telling about those ads. It isn't about emotion. It isn't about uh, trying to, you know, to show how tough you are. It's if they do this, which is meant to keep you from doing your job, Here's how you respond. That is much more playbook for other governors and other possible candidates than it is anything else. Newsmax is crazy as fuck. God damn.